In this video, we will solve a three-sum closest problem. It's uh, somewhat similar to three-sum problem, but uh, there is a difference that uh, exact sum may not be present, may or may not be present. So that's why it's called three-sum closest. So uh, in this case, we uh, have to find three numbers, three integers in this given array, such that their sum is closest to the target and we have to just return the value of that sum. For example, if you see uh, this example, uh, if you have to pick three elements, the minimum or, or the closest sum to one is two. And that will be, uh, let's say, these three numbers, minus one plus one is zero, plus two is two. If you take any other combination, let's say you take uh, minus four, one, two, then it will be minus one. So difference will be so here we have 1 on the number line, here we have 0, here we have minus 1. Although the absolute value is close, the gap is 2. But if the sum is 2, the gap is 1. So this is the closest. You can try all other possibilities, but uh, you will not get any number closer than 2. So the difference is 1. So how we will do it? So uh, one uh, naive way of doing it would be to uh, have three nested loops since uh, we have an array. The indices are from 0 to n minus 1 on 0 based indexing. So there are n elements. So uh, you will pick three elements and how many such combinations are there. So first number can be any of the n values. Next can be. Uh, so one we have picked. So the remaining is n minus 1. So these many second spot can be uh, chosen from n minus 1 values. And uh, then we have picked two elements. So the remaining elements are n minus 2. So n minus 2 possibilities for picking third element. So if you can directly see that it's very close to n cube, some minus some values, but that will be insignificant. So we can clearly do it with three nested loops for i equal to 0 to uh, let's say uh, n minus 3 then j can be from i plus 1 to n minus 2 and k can be from j plus 1 this value plus 1 to n minus 1 n minus 1 is the last index 0 is the first index and then uh, let's say this uh, array is nums so then we keep track of sum equal to nums i plus nums j plus nums k and then uh, we have a target in the input so we will see what is the difference of sum and target and we can take the absolute value uh, of the difference not the sum so uh, if it's less than sum we will keep track of uh, min diff we found so far you can start with let's say infinity so if this is less than min diff we found a better uh, set of three elements so we will update min, min diff and we will update this sum or we can have one closest sum and this sum will be so if this is the case, then we will update min diff equal to this value and closest sum equal to sum. And at the end of this loop, we will just return closest sum. So this would work. We are always keeping track of what was the closest uh, sum of these three numbers that we found. But uh, as discussed earlier, this time complexity is O of n cube and it's not very good and uh, we will need to do better. So uh, can we do better? So can we bring it down to some lower value like uh, n square or O of n? So let's see one approach where we can do it in uh, n square. So that will significantly uh, reduce the time. So the approach is similar, but one thing is that first we sort it. First step is sort the array. 
so that will take n log n time and that is one time operation then what will be this value then what we have to do uh, let's first see the general uh, algorithm then we will do it on uh, our example so once this is sorted this is the same array nums with n elements from 0 to n minus 1 so this is sorted now this is the smallest 0 is the smallest n minus 1 1th element is the largest so again we have three pointers so in this approach also we had three point pointers in the three loops here first pointer will be here p1 second we can initialize with this value 1 p2 and third it's here p3 and uh, let's uh, assume that it's given in the problem statement that there are at least three elements because we have to find three elements you can add that check also but for this case it's uh, given that we will have at least three elements so these are the values now these are sorted so let's say the sum is p1 plus p2 or rather nums p1 so these denote indices p1 is 0 so we can have nums p1 nums p1 plus nums p2 plus nums p3 so if this sum is let's say let's less than target then what we have to do uh, so this sum is less so we need to increase one of these values so we can move p2 one step to right so p2 comes here if this is the case then what we will do p2 plus plus and also we keep track of this sum and compare the same thing that we did here if uh, sum or rather uh, we will also have min diff so we can have diff here which will be sum minus target absolute value if this is less than min diff that we are keeping track we are keeping min diff and closest sum these two variables same as earlier naive approach if this is less than min diff then uh, we update so min diff equal to this diff and closest sum equal to sum so this we will do irrespective of whether this sum was less than target or more than target only we will not do it if is it's exactly equal to target then we don't need to check further uh, this is the closest we can get so we can simply return whatever is the sum so the case one is that if this sum whatever we calculated was less than target again uh, this is the sorted array p1 is here p2 was here and p3 was here and it's in increasing order so if this sum is less than target then we will increase p1 to p2 by 1 so p2 plus plus and then this uh, common step so this is common we check if we got a better uh, value or not else if sum is more than target so the sum of these three values is more than target so we need to decrease one of the values so we can decrease p3 by one step so p3 minus minus and what is the third condition else when sum is exactly equal to target then return sum or return target both are same and this loop will go on till uh, this p2 p2 is less than p3 so in every step we are either increasing p2 or decreasing p3 so they will cross each other in exactly uh, let's say n minus 2 steps or that's not significant in we can say in n steps so this loop will work for n steps and then we will have outer loop for p1 equal to 0 to n minus 3 the same so this is again n 
and at the end of this uh, so we have tried for all the values of p1 and then uh, p2 and p3 all the other values only thing is that it's now sorted so we know that if we have to in increase any value we will move in this direction we will pick the next larger number if we have to decrease the value we will take one lower number so this comes from sorting so overall time complexity here is n multiplied by n is o of n square and space is o of 1 so now let's write the code for this so we will keep track of min diff and initialize it to some maximum value because we are only decrementing if we find some better value make sure not to initialize with zero otherwise you will not improve and then we have closest sum uh, this is insignificant what value you initialize to then let's say we store the size in n norms not size and then let's uh, sort it so this uh, nums is now sorted then we have the outer loop p1 or you can have i j k also let's write i e equal to 0 i less than uh, n minus 2 plus plus i so p2 and p3 are to the right of i that's why it will only go till n minus 3 so it's less than n minus 2 or let's keep p1 p2 p3 to be consistent with our explanation then we have p2 is equal to p1 plus 1 and p3 is equal to last value n minus 1 and then we have the loop while p2 is less than p3 so sum will be nums p1 plus nums p2 plus nums p3 so if this sum is more than target then we need to decrease p3 p3 minus minus else if uh, sum is less than target then we need to increase p2 and when they cross or exactly become equal then also the loop will terminate and else is the case when sum is exactly equal to target in that case we can return target or sum both are same and uh, then we find the diff equal to absolute value of sum minus target and then check if this diff is less than min diff then min diff equal to diff and closest sum is equal to this sum and here we can at the end of this uh, loop we can return closest sum so it may return from here also if we found exactly uh, the sum equal to target so now let's run it uh, it works for this case let's go ahead and submit and the solution is accepted so I hope you understood it.
uh, see you in the next video